camera guys i'm out here one of my little secret spots waiting on my buddy to show up basically we're trying to kill the skunk we were out on the boat earlier and uh what i have here rigged up i'm gonna try something different I got a Guggen spinner. I'm, using, I'm going to use all spinner uh, Guggen lures. Got a Guggen lipless rattle. Then I got the Guggen bandito bug. But if these don't work out, I'm going to try some uh, other Guggen baits I got going on. Trying a little challenge. I saw. My buddy makes fun of me because I use Goog and Bates all the time, all the time. And he uses Berkeley. But I want to try it when he comes out. We're basically going to see if we can catch anything. It's pretty terrible conditions today. I mean, it's great overcast. But uh, it's pretty cold. Weather, weather dropped a bit. It was cold front. Uh, and just, the bite is tough. Nothing's really biting too crazy. As always, I got my Lose Affinity Speed Stick Rod. And then I got my Shakespeare Ugly Sticks GX2s. One's a bait caster with the Black Max. And Abby Garcia Black Max Spin Reel. Let's get fishing. I'm trying to wake them up a bit. Got in the grass. The thing is, the fishing activity has been pretty rough. Haven't really been crazy today. They were on a frenzy yesterday, feeding frenzy yesterday. But it was catching them like crazy. Oh, there's a bunch of action going on over here. What's all that? Something going on over here, guys. I mean, I couldn't see it. You know, I might have to move. He is about bank fishing. Find a good little hole like this so you're able to walk all the way around it. Yeah, I don't even see any bait fish over here. So yeah, I might have to move, guys. But usually when you come up on a bank, guys, you wanna, you wanna look for any movement. Like, I just toss this out here and nothing moves, nothing jumps. Probably not a good spot. Whip over there. So I don't know if you guys know this about the Guggen bait. They all are pretty unique in their own way. So this looks like a normal spinner that you'll get a little two dollar spinner but it's not if you notice there's like a slight pink hue on the on the actual spinner so it gives it a little a little bit more color and it's a normal white spinner And me being a bank fisher, my favorite baits being striking, KVD, Cinco's, pink is my go-to color. Caught the most fish off things with a pink hue. Yeah, let's try it out. I'm just gonna go find another spot, guys. All right, let's keep it moving. Alright. So nothing was hitting the spinner guys, so I'm gonna throw on the uh Bendito bug, natural color. 
Yeah, let's go to Strongest Metal. Y'all don't see that? All I'm doing is uh, just a Texas rig with the Bandito bug. Just kind of playing with it, just dragging it across the bottom. It's only about four foot deep at the most here in this pond. I could be wrong. I don't know the exact depth. So it's already at the bottom. I got a little tungsten weight on there. Nothing too crazy, nothing heavy. Just to give it the extra, extra momentum with the cast. Preferably, I like using weights with just about everything as far as the Texas rig and Carolina rig go. Uh, the only time I won't use a weight is with the wacky rig. Just because I already, most of the time, have a hook. With a, a weighted hook on there anyway. Usually, I feel the line go slack. I make sure I just kind of lift up on the pole and drag it. See if I'm not caught up on anything or pulling up any more grass. Before I even try to really throw on a hog. So typically what I throw on the Texas rig and the spinner ain't gonna work. I'll throw in something with more action and noise, which is why I have a lipless rigged up. And also it uh, maneuvers through this grass a lot easier. And if that don't work, I'll get a, a crankbait. but I love the Texas rig and I have many options. This is just one type of bait. All right, let's move to another spot down here, guys. I'm not even seeing any bait fish moving. I don't wanna sit in one spot for so long and nothing happening. I'm gonna keep it moving here. The hell? Oh, I posted it a few times. I call it a uh, hishing. It's a little term I gave fishing when I'm bang fishing. I usually have to hike to go to my spot. Which I'm totally okay with. It's got beautiful scenery of all this nature. You know? Make sure I don't trip. I tripped last time over here, guys. So, I'm gonna use the uh, old lipless rattle trap here. See if I can get anything going. Wake some fish up. At a different angle over here. Get some grass. Taking the fishes home with me, guy. Some grass up on here. Oh, there's fish moving. I got some action. See some bait fish over here, guys. I don't know, y'all couldn't see him. But on the retrieve, they're definitely swimming away, so. Really? I don't know if that was moving. Right. Looking.
Oh, oh, yep, yeah, we're on, we're on. We're on, guys. Yeah, we're on. Ooh, first one of the day, guys. And we're on. It's a beauty. A little dinker. The Guggen Beach Rattle Trap. See what I mean, guys? I had to find a fish. Saw some bait fish come up. I just had to move, find a better spot. A little good one. Oh, look at this guy now. Look how I hooked him. That's called ripping lips right there. That's the definition of ripping some lips. Come on. There we go. Alright, send you on your way. Gone. First one of the day. That's what I'm talking about. I'm off the rattle trap. So if you watch this video and you're wondering why I give a rattle trap a little whip, so when I'm picking up grass like this, just kind of whipping it through the grass, giving it that fast action. There's my buddy. So just for the future reference, if you, you guys do watch this video, that's uh, my buddy coming up, his name's Rick, Narvania. That's his uh, Instagram name. Me and him have been fishing together for a while now. Um, gave him a nickname, Drop Shot Rick. And I'm Ned Rick Wally. He catches most of his fish, I ain't saying his little secret, off a drop shot. And I catch most of my fish off a Ned Rig. That's my, my go-to, if anybody's wondering. Oh, I got something, guys. I might have another one. Something's hitting it. Jason. So I'm definitely just chasing it. I'll get the grass off there. Put it back in. That was definitely a fish. Hey, drop shot. Bro. So for the video, for here, I'm doing a little challenge. I'm using Guggen only. I've tried to, I tried to bug. I've tried the Guggen spinner. And uh, I got the, the Guggen rattle trap on right now. And guess what? I broke the skunk. I'm serious, I'm not even kidding. Look at the color of this. Supernatural. But I got one. One off the Guggen. What was that? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, your little creek dinger? Oh. Oh. Dang, dude. That's three times the thing's been hit. Yeah. 
Oh no Yeah, dude, they're definitely down in the grass. Yeah, so what I'm th I'm thinking, they're not they're not like inhaling it all the way. Yeah, so they're just like getting a taste for it, and then if they're really hungry, then they'll want it. Yeah. Was that a duck blow up? Yeah, that was a duck. Dude, that's all I've been doing. Like, I'm riding, I'm swimming this like right on the top layer of the grass. Dude, I just had one like pull me down in the grass. Yeah. Man, they're feisty today, man. You didn't see it. Nothing happened. Hey. Hit the duck. <laughs>